are in Vegas and we're going to the Windy City Beef and Dogs. I'm going to give me an Italian beef because that's what I want. And here we go with Darius, y'all. Let me see. Let me show you Darius' outfit. I'm looking crazy. Ooh, that brightness. And he brought him a new purse. And everyone is upset and mad. What's up, my Vila? I got a sounds. Smagalicious. Mm. Beat love, beat love, beat love three times. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Um, as you should be. It's okay. You don't have to be upset. Anyways. Okay, y'all, we finna head on down there. Let me see. I don't know, this probably sounds crazy. I got this muffled thing on, but we are going right there yeah, to like Windy right City. Here. I know, I, I don't want it to be, cause this, you know what, his thing is rattled and tattered. This is my camera. And battered. He got in an accident, and you know what he did? Poor lady, the lady brought him designer instead of a new camera. She don't even know that. You gotta be more elaborate than that. That's okay. Very good. <laughs> Well, what I'm about to say. You don't know me. Okay. Okay, so we just put the car. What's up, what's up, what's up, y'all? Okay, we are at Windy City Dogs, hot dogs. We're gonna eat, and I'm gonna say grace, because there is home. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this food that we're about to receive. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Dang, this thing sound loud, though. Ooh, let me get that down, son. Okay, so y'all, I got me a, starting off with a Maxwell dog. What y'all know about the Maxwell dogs? What's the difference? Let's, I say grace already, right? Yeah. The difference? It's a Polish. Mm -hmm. Let me see the inside of it. They will. I probably shouldn't have gotten that. Mm. Well, you're from Chicago, mm. so you know. Mm hmm. This lady came in there, y'all. And she's from Chicago, too, because she said, Y'all deep fry y'all hot dog? The lady was like, No, I said the same thing when I went in there. I don't know, she a true Chicago way. Mm hmm. That's good, Tilla. Yeah, I'm not from Chicago. I'm wrong. Let me tell you about where you at. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. But I got me an orange. Fine, son. Mm -hmm. I'm hungry, too. That's pretty good, ain't it? Mm-hmm. Mm. So I got this in Italian beef. I've never had a Chicago style hot dog in Chicago. Mm. Um, it's no different than martinis that we Martino's. go to. Martinos. Martino. Mm-hmm. But mm. Mm. still, isn't it more authentic in Chicago? Mm-mm. It's really good, y'all. Y'all know Maxwell poses used to come with grilled onions and mustard. But I got one with spicy a spicy Chicago style. Mmm. I got the G Giannato peppers. I don't know how to say that. that G look at Gondaro. Carnero? Mm-hmm. I can't say them either. 
Mm, apple hot pepper. Mmm. It's fire. We got two of these. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You're a solid sand fire now. What? Fire? Mm-hmm. You never heard you say fire before. You never heard? No. Mm-hmm. No. no. This Remember you said it in my... Uh, no, this is fire. Back in the day. Back in the day. I know what it means. I mean, people mm -hmm. used to say it all the time. Recently. But not no one says that. Sorry. I'm gonna get you to say it again. Mm -mm. He the same person that said nobody says danger. Okay. Wow. You got you got me to say one word. That's and watch it. me. No. Watch me get him to say. Let's I'm gonna say it, Mountain. Let's you know it right how, now. You know how it is, y'all. Let's when you start right saying now. a word, you keep on saying it, and person like, okay, they copy. They just say it automatically. That's just how it is. Can we just hang it up flat screen on the danger? Oh, see. Who's that? Please. I say I said danger. Ooh. That's the only word that I ever wow, this ever is, this uttered. Danger. Yes, that you say. Ooh. And I start and I it, I started doing it because at first it was it was a uh, I was doing it on purpose. And then. And then I actually. It was doing catchy. It. Okay, and that's the danger. only thing. Danger. That's the what only. Th no, 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 no. Listen, and every time I say danger, y'all, if I'm out in public and I say the word danger, people laugh at that. I don't know why they laugh. Mm. I'll be like, it's so it's cool. It's stripping, mama. It's stripping, it's stripping, it's stripping. Ooh. Sorry. I'm glad this wasn't no. In the car car, your daddy got hooked. Oh. I wasn't eating this car because he'd probably be like, yeah, look how sloppy this junk is. Juicy, juicy. Um, Ooh, it's what I like. She said, I want an extra triple, quadruple dripped. And I want extra aju sauce on the side with also onions and tomatoes. And. Did I say all that? Yes, you actually did do that. Jeez, she did drip this joker. She got this joker. Ooh, wait, but this looks so fire, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. I can't do nothing but desire it. Mm, mm. Did she give me some napkins? Yeah. Here, you wanted something there. Here's a couple. No, not all. Mm -hmm. Shoot. Dang, is that all? I don't got no more. Oh. I was just about to say. Here. I need more than you. Mm hey, y'all. Mm. Oh, I got some Aju sauce right here, too. Y'all, now this is the big boy. This is what you want. Now see this right here? This right here is the the Italian beef. Now let me tell you something what I do with my different my Italian beef. I like my Italian beef Chicago style. I like the raw onions. I like the peppers. I like the tomatoes. I like the the, the gardenero peppers and the au jus and all of that, y'all, with the cheese. Y'all got to have it like that. And y'all got to put a please on the end. Ooh. Get my hair out the way. That lady wanted us out, out, out. Mm mm. Mm. I don't know Ooh. why she was not feeling us, our, our presence and our aura. The second lady was very nice though. Mm. 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 I don't think cheese. I like Italian beefs like that. Why? Mm. Ooh, y'all, look at that. Mm. They work it. Mm. Ooh. I remember you guys used to get those from the pizza place. Mm-hmm. Mmm. I should got a pizza puff. Mmm. So I'm confused. They put a lot of um. Are places that sell this stuff are they Italian places? Are they Italian? Is this an Italian like? No, place? Chicago style. It says Chicago. It's fire. Well, Martino seems like a Italian name. Mm. 
I swear it has it's Italian, oh, duh. Italian beef, pizza puffs. It might be Chicago inspired, but it seems like it's Italian beef. Probably. Maybe. Why is it called Italian beef? Mm hmm. I think the peppers are good right here. Mm -hmm. I know, so I got so many peppers at home. Y'all, get y'all time. Look at that. That's sloppy, ain't it? But I love it. I like the tomatoes on it. Y'all need to try it like this. We in Vegas, too. In Vegas. I don't even know what location this is, but y'all can look it up when y'all get here. Mm. I didn't know there was more than one. What? Of these locations. If not, is it? Mm. I don't think so. You didn't say there is. No, I think this is the only location out here. Maybe. I'm not going to be mistaken. Shoot. Um, I'm finished with mine. Your whole thing? Yeah. I ain't eating my fry. That'd be too much. Yeah. You eat your fry? No. We gotta eat later. Mm-hmm. We have data reservations. Mm. Mm-mm. -mm. So let's get into the topic. Darius brought him a new purse. And I feel like it's not. Show me a part. I don't know if it's eventful at this point. Why? Yes, it is. Why? I'm just saying, like, people are probably like, oh, we bought in a purse. Oh, okay. I I don't see anything wrong with it. I was looking at him like, boy, why is you buying a purse? And I did what I did. And I said what I said. And he said that, what did he say? We in the box. We got anything else out the box? Who said See, I'm in the box generation. I, no. What'd you say? I said you're in the silent generation. Oh, silent. She's not really. I don't know what that means. You know, she's, you're not really in the silent generation. I've just been telling you that this whole time. They're going to clock me. Silent generation is actually very old. <laughs> like grandma. I think the silent. I think it's the, older than your grandma than them. I think the silent generation might be your mom or your mom's mom. So. Bing, are you saying we don't know a lot? Or we just have nothing no. to say? Yeah. Why they call it silent? Um, I th my theory is because because of silent movies. Hmm? The movies that were silent. There is no, they ain't not saying it because of that. Well, that's what I thought it was. Mm. Um, or maybe it's the, the generation that should stay silent on today's issues. I don't know where that comes from. <laughs> you better leave me alone. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Shoot, you are like, I can't have a voice. You definitely shouldn't. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I let me show it. Mm -hmm. On anything. There's always coming to plan with me. Fashion. Tell me something. Yeah, I'm finna buy me a purse. Okay. And then. You'll it's say, definitely not that big of a deal in my generation. It really isn't. Now, would you say everybody wear a purse? No, I didn't say that. You said everybody. Everybody can wear a purse. I said anybody can wear a purse. Yes. I think it's very actually normal now. I've seen lots of guys with purses, actually. I haven't seen a lot of guys with purses. In in the fashion world, at least, like if they people are conscious of what they, if they're like actively looking to. Now I to see them over thing, fashion. over thing. Uh, what's them bag? Crossover bag. Right. It, it it you don't have to wear it like you can wear it however you like whatever. But I have my my strap right there. I just took it off. But I I really wanted a top handle bag. Um. This is technically my really my first purse. The last one I had was that I made a video on. That little B purse? Kind of, it was a crossbody thing. He wore the, wearing that though like crazy. Yeah, it was getting old and tired. Yeah. I don't need you to. I was hoping you would no, see no, it. No, no, I don't need you to. 
I don't need you to do all that. But anyways, I wanted a top handle and I also wanted it to be white, I think, because it matches a lot of stuff. Um, and I feel like I have a lot of stuff that I, I have two phones, my wallet, my, um, my chapstick, my car keys, my house keys. Um, what else is there? You need to fit in there? Yeah. Or just, it's just too much to fit in my pocket. Oh. And also, I've been wearing girls' jeans. So. <laughs> I do have a few pair of girls' jeans. And they're, well, how, why, why do you I have wear girls', girls jeans? jeans? That is a good you question. You wear mom jeans, now you wear girls' jeans. No, why do I have what, girls' jeans? Let me dissect that. I actually don't know why. Like, there's a reason why I. I Because you just know you can jeans. buy it? No, no. There's a reason why I specifically wanted girls' jeans. Maybe because of the fit of them. I wanted ones that cut off early, you know? And I couldn't find, like, and I, and I wanted to go to the store. I just went to, the, to Hollister, or was it Hollister, or American Eagle, or whatever, and it, all the men's jeans were just skinny jeans that, I don't know, they were just boring and gross. And so I said, I'm going to the women's section. And I did. But the issue with women's jeans is that they don't have enough pocket space. What is wrong with them? What is wrong? With, I just don't understand why they can't put more pocket. Why, why do men's jeans have so much more pocket space? I don't get that. Like, what's the diff Like, what's the point? Why is, why don't the pockets exist to be bigger? You know what I'm saying? Did you know that? No. Like, your pockets are half the size of our pockets. I can fit my whole hand Oh, yeah, your hand can go midway. Yeah, it's like your fingers can go up. Because we That's don't have that much. All we do is put our lipstick in our pocket. Okay. Maybe. That, no. You should be able to still have pockets, though. Men put everything. Men don't have purses. So that's why they make their pockets bigger. Well, because I have women's jeans, <laughs> I had to get a purse so I could fit the stuff that I have. How about that? You couldn't get a bag? I have many bags. I have like a jewel bag. A what? A Kroger's bag. Are you crazy? All these bags. Ugh. None of the above. There's actually nothing wrong with this. I just don't. Ugh. I don't get it. I don't but either. I don't. I don't. I don't know. That's so crazy. The world is changing. <laughs> and I just don't know how you guys, you guys are just like, oh. He said that we're not normal. Well, I think normal is a weird word, mm -hmm. right? Because does it matter if you're normal? Does it? Does it matter if we're normal? I think so. Why? You want to be normal. In certain aspects, you do. Oh, but that's not normal. He's wearing v loan. Anyways, in certain aspects, you do. You know all the designs, I don't. In certain aspects, you don't care. I don't care that about I'm wearing a purse. Right. I don't care that I'm not normal in, in the fashion sense. I, it, well, one thing is, I'm gonna say this. It's normal now for, the fashion is different now than yeah. when I was growing up. Of course. When I was growing up, you didn't see men wear purses. Right. Not that I know of. Right, you didn't. With guys a wear, man with a mustache. Guys wear eyeliner now, too. Did you know that? But you're not. I will be. No, you're not. Gritty! What do you think I should do, a wing? Jared, you better stop playing with me. I'm not playing with Mom, you. Mom, okay, first of all. Every time no, you, no. Every time he start, start um, joking around with me, oh, trust and believe, honey, four to six months from now, it will be happening. Okay, and what about it? My thing is, what? Okay, if I was joking about the eyeliner, because well, I don't know if I am yet, I'll figure it out. Um, why are you so pressed about it? I don't get it. Darius, you already, I already seen you an eyeliner, and it's not a pretty sight. You have not <laughs> seen me. In, I my, have. Why are you? You have not seen me an eyeliner. Darius, I will get a picture up right now on Please. Facebook. Listen to me. Let no, me get tell, it. Let me tell you when. When they have to put eyeliner on you for that play. And you was in the dressing room. Oh. Thank you. It's not. Well, I don't remember and that. And I was, I was like, and you young. thought you was just, just all I in did the not. camera. I did. You, <laughs> you made that up. I did not think I was all of that. It was probably just actually just I said a normal you was all picture. All in the camera, me. like, come on, take all these pictures. First of all, get off of Facebook. Second of all, I didn't know that that was a thing. Sorry, I was too young to remember that, or just the memory that I wouldn't have noticed. Second of all, it's not gonna be eyeliner like that. Let me, I think I have to show you what I mean. Not eyeliner like I wear. 
<laughs> yeah, it wouldn't be like yours. You wouldn't wear it, it lashes, would, would you? It would definitely, no. It would de no, I wouldn't wear lashes. Lashes? Mm -mm. It would definitely be more dramatic than that, than what you have. It's kind of, it's a statement, Mom. It's not like a... <laughs> Why? I don't know. Is I, it gothic? Can you actually leave gothic people alone? I feel like every, every video we talk about black, you, you say, is it gothic? Why? Are you gothic? Are you coming gothic now? Darius is trying to be gothic. And I go, calm no, down. No, gothic is black colors. And you um, always wear bright. Guys with eyeliner, and it's all over TikTok. Well, first of all, these people are crazy, actually. Well, no, let me tell you something. These this are, is Darius' life. Let me, let me see. This is what he wants. This is not my life. So don't y'all come at me. See, look. You can barely tell that he has it on. Darius, you can tell that man has some eyeliner on. And, and his what about it? And they cut eyes. Yeah, that's what it would be. Why would you want to wear eyeliner? Mom. Yes, I I'm not actually to you. don't care about what anybody on this video is going to say and also what you're saying, Mom. Eyeliner is actually... Like, that's not, actually, that's it would just depend on what it looks... How it looks on me. Because it might... <coughs> it might be iconic on these people and just some, just some people. I feel like some people can't, you know, whatever. Can't uh, what? Can't pull Where? it off. And, and it's called guy liner. Did you know that? That's a new term for it. Guy liner. Some guy liner looks. You buy it in the store? It says guy liner? No, no, no. You mm. just buy regular eyeliner. But it's like a new, it's like, it's called guy liner. Is that TikTok fling? Fling? Is that a TikTok sensation? Mm, I mean, TikTok it's, <laughs> it's definitely, yeah, it's definitely from TikTok. I knew it was from TikTok. Or, <clears throat> I think because of TikTok, now we have... Um, I, it's the first time I was seeing like we're definitely bend, bending gender roles on TikTok, and I think it's very iconic actually. When you say bending, um, mm -hmm. just like that's where you that's where the whole eye, guys wearing <laughs> eyeliner situation came about. That's where the whole um, guys wearing or guys being purses. More, no, well, not necessarily purses. I mean, everybody, I know y'all been with purses for a minute, but purses, purses, like women purses. Like, you want a Chanel bag? Did you wear a Chanel bag? Um, what I, yeah, I don't care. What am I trying to say? I'm trying to think about what I say before I say it. I don't care about the, I just don't think that a purse is that serious, actually, at all. It's literally just a bag to me. It's actually just a bag, it's a purse. Um, okay. But I feel like it's a bag, though. To me, it's a bag, not a purse. To use the purse, not a bag. Like, it is a purse. Mm-hmm. But is it not just a bag that I'm carrying stuff in? Let's, let's dwindle it down. No, let's actually think about it. Mm-hmm. What, what is this to you? A purse. What is a purse? A purse for a girl. I used to wear when I was a little girl. And today, as a woman, I put my makeup in. <laughs> okay. To me, this is actually an uh, and um material that holds items. That's what it means to me. To your generation, this has lots of stuff behind it. This means feminine. This means that you have uh, female genitalia that none of none of that <laughs> none of that should matter in that's not what this means does that does that make sense mm -hmm. to me this is just actually a bag mm -hmm. that i can put things in okay and that's all it should be oh okay it shouldn't represent x y and z okay and mean this and mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. i understand why it does and I understand why you believe that. That's what you grew up in. Uh -huh. But times are changing. That's okay. what you tell me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm trying to adapt to that. Yes, as you should. Thank you. I appreciate mm -hmm. that. Um, so w when you asked me if I would, would get a Chanel purse, yes, I would. I don't know if I can afford one. Who? I said I don't know if I can afford one. But I would get you one. You would get one if you had the opportunity to get one. I don't know if I like them, though. Right. Well, then you don't shouldn't get them one. Well, of course I wouldn't get one if I didn't like it. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying, I'm saying, just in general, if you were asking me if I would, if you gave me a free Chanel purse, I guess I would wear it once or once. That's not that I would have any issues. You wouldn't got to worry about that. 
Well, I know you're not going to You wouldn't get a word about that, honey. <laughs> Anyways. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm trying to keep this white. Anyways. Yeah. Because that, and that's how much that bag cost. You would not believe it. Not much. Because I said, bag. I said, oh, maybe $130. Are you crazy, mom? <laughs> $130? I think you really actually tried it. <laughs> well, <laughs> he come home. Tell me something. Oh, wait. I'm what you see my purse. I brought a purse. And so I, why you don't say I bought a bag? If it's because, just a bag Mom, to first you. of all, first of all, um, Do we say purse I like, did it? Did they actually have... It, does it say I purse? I don't know what it said, actually. I just said... I didn't, didn't ask them what it was called. I said I want that. I'm being so so serious. I walked in there and said, like, give, "Give me that one." Did you look at the price first? Absolutely not. Whatever. No, I'm just kidding. I did. I said, "Girl, how much is this?" I know you did. Are you crazy? Um, but anyways, what was I gonna say? No, and the reason why I say all those things is because I think it's actually so funny your, you and Dad's reaction. So I do say I'm wearing heels and purses and all the other stuff, so you guys can say ah, and have a mini stroke. We don't be having a mini show, y'all. Let me tell you something. Let me just tell you what what the thing it is. I am gonna be getting a little. My son is who he is. And I'm about to be eating. And it is what it is. First of all, and uh, let me just. Of course, I have questions. Cause I don't be knowing. I'll be like, what's this? What's that? Why you want that? To me, I think that um. I'm gonna get, I'm cleaning out my teeth, y'all. Because I've been. Recently, focusing mm -hmm. on my fashion, mm -hmm. I find that being different and unique gets <laughs> more people's attention and you get more compliments. When you say different and unique, what do you mean? Yes, obviously it's way more normal now for you to be a guy wearing, getting, a, having a purse or whatever you want to call it. But it's not only that, it's that I feel like I get people come up to me more often saying I like what you're wearing blah 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 if I'm wearing something that's unique it may not be like feminine it just makes me something that's unique mm -hmm. like I like to buy things mm -hmm. that I know is new and no one else is gonna have right like yesterday I was wearing um, some pants that were had a very different Style. Finish. Yeah, finish touch. I don't know what type of style that It had was. a very different finish on it, and it was, it's very hard to explain. It's by, be it's by this guy named Murder Vibrato, and he has a collection called Who Decides War, and I was wearing... Um, Mom, are you upset? It's the truth. It's a collection. Oh, my goodness. Um, it's so weird. It's like. so tried that I, It's definitely the truth. It has a collection called Who Decides War, and I did buy from it, and I, I was wearing two pieces from the collection, and... Everyone was upset. No, I'm just kidding. But no, the 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 pants had, had a, a the pants had a very different finish on it, and the the sweater, which I, I don't know if I've ever shown on camera, the sweater is like this white, pink, and red like mixture. Actually, you can see they're not corn and not corn dog thing. I wasn't wearing that. Yes, yeah, she was. That was yesterday. Oh, that's actually embarrassing. It was yesterday. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, I have a video coming out of my All channel. Right, I don't you'll know see the shirt. It was supposed to be coming out today, but it was so much, it had some technical difficulties. Something always happens with my videos. Anyways, um, but yeah, they, um, I'm wearing it in that, you can see it in that video. But either way, I, it's a bit, I, that's, this sweater was not unique necessarily. It's a very nice sweater. You can just, you can tell it's nice. Um, I just tell it was good quality. And lots of people came up to me and asked me what I was wearing. When I went to the mall, um, I de like I mean upwards of eight people came up to me and said something about my outfit, um, and that's not. It doesn't matter, but that's not what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is that I think that that happens more often when you're trying to be when you're when you're unique and you have, and have your own style. And you don't you think have your own style. And you think outside the box. And you're not trying to be everyone else, basically. And that's not what I'm trying. So to do. he's more of a unisex. Um. Type of. A stylist where you can wear whatever you want to wear. If you see a a a a a a halter top. I don't. Know. When I walk into the store, I look at both the men's and the women's section. Sorry. I don't say. Mm. Dad goes. Hmm. The the men's section is so small. I say, well, there's a women's section over there. You want to look at it? And your dad looks at you like you're crazy. He does. And I go over there and look. 
and that's how I get a lot of the items that I have. Yesterday I was I was in Kenzo, and a majority of my actually both two of the three things I got were women's. And what about it? And they look good on me too. And what about it? At this point, I don't understand. I mean, obviously I get that there's going to be women's and men's. That's never going to change. I'm not trying to completely eliminate the boundaries of women and men, blah, 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 blah. I'm not that type of person. I don't care. But I'm going to shop where I want to shop and what section I want to shop in. I'm not asking you to say this should be a unisex store and blah, 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 blah. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> but I am going to... What they need to do, though, is actually make women's shoes in, like, in bigger sizes, too. Why? Cause like when I was in Kento, there was some. They, it was like sneakers though. It's not like they were heels or anything. It was sneakers, and I oh. couldn't get them. And if they were heels, then what? Darius, you're not getting no. I don't just don't. You don't need to be bad, no. I don't think I would ever wear stilettos. Okay. But I will be giving the girls a heel at some point. Like I will, like a boot with a heel or something. Yes, that's gonna be in my wardrobe. Darius, I, what are you turning into? I can I'm see you with into big heels someone... and big, big, thick soles like the Frankenstein shoes. And I can see you doing something with, you talking about some eyeliner. And then you're going to get your eyebrows pierced and your lip pierced. I can see just, just, and knuckle rings. Why do you actually turn into talking about guy things? I, that's what? what they do. They wear Mom. guy liner. Mom, first of all. I'm not gonna be doing any of that. I'm there, y'all. I'm not gonna get my eyebrows. Don't pierced. they wear guy liner and um all black? I'm not doing any of that. But I am. I I'm am trying sure to get these um these cream boots with the heel, and they are iconic. And you actually are so lucky. You are so lucky. I wasn't able to get them before I came here. You are very lucky, mom. Because I would have been. I would have been in the streets. I would have been in the streets with a fit, and you'd have been upset. Here we go, y'all. Let's stop. They're gonna drag and tag me on this. Darius, video. you are the type of tag and drag. That's what they're gonna tag do. and drag you. Yes. And actually, I, I don't care. I know. Um, if you tag and drag me, it shows your age. Anyways, what, is your uh, age? what my age? It just shows your age if you tag and drag. That's all I'm gonna say. What that mean? What age is that? I don't know. And if you're my age, shame on you. Get, get with get the, the times. program. Get with the times. Get with the times. Okay. Anyways, let me show Darius, you. Darius, there are some people that really dress outside the box, and I just be looking like, what is that that they have on? It just be so okay, is like, it, is it what? it's like runway type styles. Y'all know the runways. You be like, you don't understand what they just put together, but. Most of the people that's in Listen, at the runway or the fashion show think it's iconic. They think fashion it's just is not so. For everybody. And I just be like, oh. Yeah, oh, fashion okay. is not for everybody. Just like, you know, I know it ain't. Not everybody has an eye. You know what? What? <laughs> don't even have me. Don't even have me like, fashion ain't for everybody. It isn't. I'm just saying. Not everybody has an eye. Okay. And it's okay if you don't have one. <laughs> I'm it's me. okay. And especially in the, okay, and I, I understand because of the, the reason that everyone's not in the fashion world, I'm not, you don't have to be, what am I trying to say? You don't have to be in the fashion world to think this, but I think the majority of people who are in, like, into fashion are okay with gender bending, like, um, what am I trying to say? Not gender bending, but um, um, just the fact that w women's and men's things are very, and it's very androgynous. We're coming to a world where the fashion, the fashion forward people who are creating the fashion of today are, everything is pretty androgynous mm -hmm. amongst like the people who are really fashion forward in the industry, like trailblazers. Um, women are wearing very men's, very masculine looking silhouettes, very masculine looking clothing. And men are wearing, are wearing, some, some people have the men in their shows wearing, wearing eyeliner or wearing, or wearing very feminine normal things that would be feminine obviously they're still like i said they're no one's getting rid of men and female where male and female like uh clothes like actually sections on their, right, their sections, websites or whatever right. but i think that in today's day and age if you would see a fashion show you're gonna see a lot of things on either side um that you probably wouldn't have seen before but either way um i don't think there's anything wrong with that actually 
I'm, this is actually just the bag that I'm putting stuff in. And everyone's so upset and mad. I know they are. Mm. Um, and I actually don't care because it's not for you. I know. It ain't for me. I ain't got to wear it. Um, yeah, that's it. And I'm getting... Can I borrow it from mine? No. <laughs> Not if you don't want if you don't want me wearing it, you can't borrow it. I'll be wearing some of yours. No, you ain't. Why not? I said so. I can't take the birthday no. off for it, right? Mm-mm. I can't take I actually I don't think I would have a bag that big. I think that's too big. I'm just trying to get little little small ones. And I have little purses and I shouldn't have bought the little person. Why? Because I can't fit you know I like my big bags. Yeah, and my you actually just put everything in there and I don't know why you do that. And the bag be so heavy. I think with my hot fall. And now when I'm out of town, y'all, I don't like like carrying three and four different purses. My mom has a pair of socks in her bag. She said it's for bowling. I have a pair of socks in my bag just in case anything. And then when I go to the airport and I don't have shoes, socks on, I put socks on because I'm not stepping my feet on that nasty flow. Okay? So I always keep a pair of socks in my uh, bag for the airport in case I have to take my shoes off. Oh, that's on period. Um, you told me it was just in case you had to go bowling. And two, that bowling too. I got two pairs in there. I got a bowling pair and I got an airplane that, pair. You go in there and check right now. I, I do. Like that's just, that's Did you Yes. I do think. Okay, do you have a vacuum in there too? Just in case you have to vacuum with some crumbs? No. Like, that's how I feel like that's how random bowling is. Mm -mm. I don't. I don't think. He don't even know. Your mama cook it. Okay, but I... I be going bowling a are lot. Are you unexpectedly kick, Are you? How many situations have you been in where you're in the car and like, oh, we're going bowling right now? Right now we going bowling? Oh, good day I wore my socks. Good day just I got like my that. socks in my purse. We just did that like a week ago, two weeks ago. So you were, you were at home, you were in the car, and you said we going bowling And we said right let's go now. bowling. Right. Can you get the cup out of my face, Mom? Thank you. Anyways, I guess... Um... Why are you hating? I'm not hating. I was just... You have a lot of stuff in your purse. That's all I was going to say. Not a lot. I think it's very heavy, actually. Because um, I have my hot sauce in it. I have a baby. Pick it up now. I have the hot sauce in it. I... Oh, boy, bad. Oh! Yeah. That's too light. Anyways, let me show you the mechanism. You turn this... Ah, it's too white. It's... Uh, what kind of purse is that? Off-white. Off-white. You turn it like this to op to open it, and then he puts it back down. And he's tell me how much it cost. It was twelve fifteen. Twelve hundred dollars for that little bitty old purse. At least it got some red bottoms. Mom, what do you mean it has some red bottoms? It has a burgundy interior. That's a mere bottle. Okay, how? Okay. You want to tell about people's price of the purse? Don't talk about my purse. Yeah, that's what I thought. But. Please? I have all my items in there, my belongings. I like the inside of it, that's all. Um, and it has a little strap that I can put on uh, as a as a crossbody bag. But he don't wear that one. So, well, I had it on before, but I, I wanted a top handle bag for a reason. I think it's very iconic, um, and I'll be getting different colors and different purses. My next purse, I think, I think I want a red Balenciaga bag. And I definitely have to get the black Prada. It's a very classic look. I just need that shoulder, that black top handle. It's very, it's very popular. Shoulder bag, and I'm gonna get that one too. Uh, Excuse me. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. Woo, I need it. What was I gonna say? So it is what it is. Yeah. So that's Darius' purse experience. Yes, actually, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Obviously, they probably do, or or not everybody in the comments, but um, some people. Listen, when his first purse, I was like, that, "What do you that mean?" That was barely a purse, but yeah, I guess. Even had a purse. Okay, and what about it? Nothing. You say the boy go do what he want to do, and I don't care. And yeah, and you know how many people paint? You know how many guys paint their nails? It's just very normal, mom. It's just there is. You trying to paint your nails too? I definitely have done it already before. Yeah, I've seen it when you called me. Trying to be funny. Oh, all black. You. I did call you. Uh, it was all black except for my ring finger was was red. Uh, and why was the ring finger red? I actually don't know why. Was I, that a symbol symbolization? No. 
I want to see somebody. Is there any symbols in black nail polish? Why would you pick black? Well, do you want to? And not clear. Wanna, um, first of all, I wasn't gonna do clear because what's the point? It's shiny. Okay, I don't want it to be shiny. Anyways. The reason why I picked black is because I was. That's just actually very sad. I was. Get that uh, to tea. There's something in my teeth. It's a spot. You see it? <laughs> really? You ain't gotta do all that. Ooh. Ooh, my nose itchy. Oh my god, I got it out and then I put it back in there. Yeah, that's how it is. That's why I have to go to the bathroom and wish my teeth out. But I got my teeth in the car now. I got to go around it. You got it? No. Danger. Mm. Danger. I keep pushing it back in there. It's gonna Watch stay. yourself. Let me see. Oh, that ain't bad. Anyways, y'all, so what I was saying? Um, I was saying something. I said, the reason why I put black in there before, that's staying in there. Um, black polish? Yes. The reason why I did black polish is because it's the first time I ever painted my nails, and I felt that I needed to be more masculine, and black was the most normal masculine thing to do. And then I said, That's a lie. What's a lie? Never play with me. What's a lie? That's a lie. You just said black was the most masculine. I did say that. Who wear black nail polish? I don't see people wearing black there's nail polish. There's lots of guys. That, that's what the thing is on TikTok, is everyone wears black nail polish. Other guys wear black nail polish. What is TikTok? Something for the girl. I know TikTok, but I'm saying, what is TikTok doing over there? I don't be on TikTok. Anyways, so this is where you get all your ideas from? Not necessarily. It's just me knowing that, that that's where we're headed. Are you upset that the world is not yours anymore? That's some tea. <laughs> that is some tea. Cause I'm not. What what, uh, what happens when the world is not ours anymore? Cause right now we are the world. We are the world. We are the world. We are the children. So Please don't say. I just wait for you to say you killed it. Cause you didn't. I don't think I did either. Okay. So calm down. I'm just saying. Um, but we are the world right now. Who is we? Gen Z. Gen Z is we. We are Gen Z. So y'all taking over the world? We're not taking over. That's a... Oh. I, I don't want... I, <laughs> I don't want... You said who? <laughs> I don't want... Uh, no one's trying to take over anything. Darius, what y'all trying to do? This is... First of all, let's clock it. Oh, my God. This is God's world. Okay, that's not... At the end of the ain't day... Ain't nobody said that. Ain't, ain't nobody <laughs> said nothing against that, so don't even try it. At the end of the day... I don't care what y'all say. You know what? That's why you gotta stay in your own lane. I I, I should stay. I'm telling y'all, this is crazy. What's crazy? Everything. Everybody's doing everything. Mm. Let it be, let it be. We're the next generation. And so, as of right now, we are the world. There's actually another generation. Everybody born after 2010 is alpha generation. But at this point, they're only 11 years old. So they ain't got nothing to do with this. Um, you guys are 90 and above. Your generation's 90 and above right now. Um, so, did you even catch that, Mom? No. 90 and above is me. That's me? Yeah, that's what I just said. But and above it, what? D above to what? To 40? 90 and above. What, to one-year-old? That's above 90. Mm. Two, you know. No, it's not above 13, 90, actually. 14. It's below 90. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh -huh. why, why am I I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, um. There's, you know, I'm not 90 and above. I know you're not. But either way, the Gen Z is for the girls, and right now we are the world. That should be a song. Um, well, y'all, I'm just trying to get used to this stuff. Darius is trying to teach me, it, it teach me, and I'm trying to learn. And I've I learned need, some I stuff on Beagle. If you don't have a child that's in the Gen Z era, or if you're not a child that's in the Gen Z era, um, come to me for help. I will help you. I know you. Some. I know most of you guys are stuck in your ways. I get that. 
I do. I understand that. And, I and listen to me. I am who I am. Okay. Okay. I hate that too. Yeah, I know you hate it. But I am who I am. Because um, when I get when I get older, my kids are trying to teach me something. But I'm listen, gonna say, I, am I do. Who I, am. I, I do. I, I, I'm always gonna say I am who I am, just as you should. Okay. Say you are who you are, and no one can change who you are. Correct? Mm -hmm. It's that's who you are. Mm -hmm. Right? Hallelujah. Yes. Don't say hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Why can't I say hallelujah? Yes. I'm just saying. So he made you the way he made you. He made me the way he made me. And it's just like sometimes when I want to say stuff, it's like why we have to say no. It's not like that. Get with the times, Missy. Because you're damaging this population. I'm really not. What? what in because what if I, my thing is, I feel that if somebody somebody grew up in the, in their situation there, but the way they grew up, then they just gotta what? grow up. That talking, don't mean I'm not well, saying. Well, it depends on the situation we're talking about. Right, yeah, but I'm not, mean, not saying yeah. that. That I don't know the eyeliner and all that other stuff. I don't know eyeliner. I don't know. What, what about that? So why can you wear eyeliner but I can't? Cause I'm a girl. That's what they taught us. Yeah. Girl. Well, you, they need to unteach it to you. That's what you're saying. They need to unteach it to you. Okay. Um, because I don't think it's that big of a deal. Right. That's what I'm saying. Some people don't think it's a big of a deal. I don't understand how how objects. I don't, defines a person. No, no, no. I don't understand why objects have to have genders. That's the only thing. Oh. That's a big thing for me. Mhm. Mm I don't understand why objects have I think that's because, like I said, we were so, like, we grew up like that. Train girls, wear purses, play with dolls, boys. That's so you know, crazy. Yeah. That's why, what they who wants to live in that kind of world mm -hmm. where you can only do what they told you to do? Right. No. If I don't want to play with dolls. And you want to Or play if I don't want to play with trucks, then why do, I have, why do I have to do it? Because I'm a certain gender? Absolutely not. But that, does, does that make sense? Mom, let's say right now, as a, or no, not right now, let's say when you were a girl, you just didn't want to play with dolls. Right. And you wanted to play with, I with did. trucks. I think, but see, and I think that's what, what society, like if a, if a society see a girl play with a truck or a, a, a car, they're not going to look at them like they're crazy. Yes, that's, that's also true. That's true, right? Yeah. But if you see but if a, a little dolls, boy play with a doll, that's when you're going to be looking up on the side of your head. There's, right? a lot, there's a lot of issues in the fabric of our society. So many. I could go on and on and on. There's so many. The, the What it means to be a man, don't get me started. Because <laughs> Dan can lead that class. Yeah. Tell some, I would never wear a purse. Okay. He don't want to wear a purse. That's fine. But that's his. That's, that's his fine. preference. Uh, that's right, fine. Right. But he also has judgy eyes that I have one. He has what? Judgy eyes. No, he don't. I. What do you mean? No, he what don't. But you mean judgy eyes like what? I'm sure he's probably like. Oh, like. He didn't say nothing. I know he didn't. Mom, you words don't have to be the only form of communication. Okay. You can read a lot of things with, without words. So what your dad do? I don't know. How you know he was judgy? He wasn't judgy. That's what I said. Well, he was, but how? Not in, in only so many words. You could just tell, just like you are. I'm judgy too. Yes. How? Mom, do you really want me to have this purse right now? I say you. Why you buy the purse, boy? That's what, what I said. I say. I say. I say what I mean. But if I, I was a girl, would you say why did I buy a purse? No. Because it's a girl's purse. It's a girl. That's what I thought. So anyway. But I'm trying to. I am trying to learn this thing I about know. you know, know. learning. You don't have to. Sometimes you don't have to agree with the, some things. Like this is your life. You don't have to agree that a man wear purses. Okay, I just did something right. different. But I'm trying to get you to understand where I'm coming from. Yes, I do. Thank you. I very much understand I that you want to wear guy liner, and yes. you want to have purses. You okay. want to shop in the women's section, and. You want to? Uh, well, yes, I will be doing all of the above. Yes. Wear stilettos or heels. I didn't say that. Heels. I said I wouldn't wear stilettos. But you would wear heels. I would wear heels. Did you know that I told you this multiple times that heels were originally a uh, men's thing? Oh yeah, you did tell me that. Form, it was a form of status. Yeah, he, yeah, you told me that. If you wear heels, you were as a man, you were. Uh, and you showed me pictures of it. I did, but they weren't stilettos. I, I, that's Cause that's what, cause when we first had the conversation, Darius, don't go there. You what said, if they wear man, they, I said, Darius, you lying. And we going back and forth. I said stilettos. If they were stilettos, they would be eating, and everyone would be so upset. If Napoleon was in stilettos, 
that was a little bitty heel like this. It was it was a it's a little bitty heel. And that's the kind of heel that like I would a, be wearing. It was kind of what? <laughs> there is stuff left with me. But it's the kind of heel I'm gonna be wearing. Them little bitty old heels. That's shady, that's shady heel I'm getting. Darius. I'm sure you. Oh Lord. Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. I'm sure you, I'm sure you. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you. Uh, well, we can let y'all go. I can't find these. these Cause y'all know y'all like on this conversation. I know somebody finna get me to get me to. We're both gonna have people getting both. We of both us. gonna have people getting us in this video. Somebody needs to start a comment on who's my who's on my side, and somebody needs to start a comment on who's, on, who's on, my who's side. on my side. And I'm not saying this is what I'm saying. Just because people are living the way, it doesn't mean that I don't I, you don't you don't like them or you don't like their personality. You don't like who they are as a person. That has nothing to do with it. Sometimes you know if you say I. I'm not used to men wearing purses. So what? It is what it is. They ain't, they ain't oh, saying. Oh, get used to it. Hey. Whatever. Oh, get used to like you it. you said, get, whatever. Hey. Anyways, it is what it is. I don't think people should have them. to change their beliefs or what they feel. You're right. I know. Because you feel what you feel, right? Is that wrong for me to change what you fit to feel? It would be wrong, so I understand. So you can't change what I feel, right? You're right. But at the same time, I love you. I love you too, mom. Yeah, okay. But we are the world. We are the world. We you see are what you're trying children. to say? They're taking over the world. No, we're not, mom. We are the world taking over We children. are the world. We're not taking over anything. Then why is we the world? We, what's we are the world? Because we, we are the world. Who is, why is we the are the world? Because we are the world. Who is we? Point. Gen Z. No. We, had, we actually, this is deja vu. We just had this conversation. But I know we did. We are the world of Gen Z. I don't know how I'm gonna feel when I'm not. Y'all can't anymore. wait till we all just, all of us older people. What do we call? The silent generation. The silent. No, no, I'm just kidding. We can't you wait. Are Gen. We you can't. Y'all can't wait till we just say okay, just kind of ease on out this world, cause y'all really gonna have a time then. Oh, it's gonna be popping. Oh, it's gonna be popping. It's gonna be popping. I don't. I don't know. I don't want you guys to be dead per se, but I want your opinions to be dead. Greedy! <laughs> um, I'm being so serious about that. Half of the people, well, not not you. Mm, I wouldn't say you. That's your generation, but probably the generation before you. You really want I, that to be. I gone. want their opinions to be kind of. I was having this conversation with my friends, and I know that well, this is definitely a hot take, and I, I'm going to be canceled. But oh well, no, I'm not going to be canceled because I don't have a stance on it. But we're, we're talking about whether or not people who are 80 and above should be able to vote. Why is that? Why would y'all have a, a... Because at that point, girl, you might as well, girl, you might want to hang up a flat screen. Darius, this 80 year old that's healthier than you, okay, boy. Okay, you might as well... And have a brain. Not healthier than me. Yes. Um, you, I mean, it's not, it's not that you might as well hang it up flat screen. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying you're going to die soon. That's, I guess that's what it does seem like it, I'm saying. What I'm saying is that you had your time to change the world and to, to do what you did when you were younger. And you had your, your experience. And now you're... You should, I, okay, girl, you can vote on Social Security, but that's about it, honey. <laughs> I just there, like. Said, I have eighty year olds watching my okay, videos. Okay, that's fine. I really do love you, and you did amazing. <laughs> you did amazing. Thank you for your service. But I think, I think, at that point, there you cannot. At that point, you cannot be connected with the world. How can you? Because you, you cannot. Are you insane? Listen, listen. At that point, you cannot be connected. You cannot know what people want because you're. Well, you can. You could. You could possibly. Okay. <laughs> I told you I'm gonna be canceled. I'm not. I'm, I'm thinking out loud here. I'm. I'm obviously this is not my opinion. I don't think that old 80 year old people should not be able to vote. Okay. But I'm saying at that point, are you really in a stage of your life where there is? They probably have 15 to 20 more years or more on this earth at 80. So you tell me they have don't have a I right to vote, right. Yeah, and right. their mind is really, really a uh, sharp. Watching so many, so many much people like, yep, my grandmama is 80 years old, 85. Yes. And she's still walking well, around here. Well, I feel here. like black people, actually, I think we have our, our, our longevity of of um, consciousness. I'm going to try to say. <laughs> um, we, we At 80, we might be killing it, actually. So, but I don't know about, there's some other people where they, um, at 80, they. They ain't functioning. Yeah. But either way, you guys know, I didn't, I didn't mean it like they so, shouldn't be able to. 80 year olds like can 
80 because I do understand that they're, it, when it comes to certain issues, obviously they want to to um, to vote on certain things. But and it, and it and it literally is just me trying to say, or me and my friends trying to say, we just don't want their their opinions are on social issues are probably not what we agree with, which is why I I'm over time silence their vote, um, which I understand is so unfair to the 80 year olds that I'm saying, but. And I do understand why they have to vote for whatever reason, social security for the for the rest of their life. I yeah, as long as you are, as long as you're a citizen, uh, you know, a citizen, and you're old enough to vote, I think you should vote. Oh well, that's a whole different topic. You know, but. and that, if they ever say the point where you have to stop your vote at 80 years old, something's wrong. That's when we really have some problems. I don't. I'm not saying they should do that. I'm was, saying but, not you, but I'm saying for say if someone the the government was to say that. I would actually. That would scream, be crazy. I, I would scream too. It would be crazy. Um, but, I do, but I think that everybody should have a right of their opinion. I think everybody should not should have a right of their beliefs or whatever they want to have, but still at the same time love people from the way that God would love them. You understand what I'm saying? That's just it. And accept. I, I think them. it's so interesting how how um, we only have we only believe what we believe is because the way we grew up. I, I have often thought That's about that. That's what you're that. trying to tell me. It is the truth. That's been so instilled in us. Boo, boo, boo. Everything that you that know, everything that you your... know is based off of experience. Exactly. So if you experience something different, grow up some different way, grow up here, grow up there, you're going to have different experiences. That's why, um, the, so I'm not going to say that actually. So what happened to you? What happened to me? I'm just in Gen Z. I, I'm, I grew up in a different generation than you, so I have different opinions on a lot of things because we just are different. We just have, we just have yeah, different Yeah, because you're opinions. different than Dalvin, too. Dalvin I'm different is than Dalvin, too. He's Dalvin's in the middle stage, though, I think. He's been in between you and me, me and you and, and Dad. I think he, I don't know, it's just, I don't know, whatever. I think that he's just different than us. Um, he definitely screams millennial. I scream Gen Z. I'm definitely... I'm, okay, me and my friend were talking about this. Me and Kai were talking about this. And this is definitely self-centered. But I do think that we're the... Me, me, the people who are... Um, sophomores, juniors in college right now are the best people on the planet. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And let me tell you why. Because the, the Gen Zs who are younger than us are very bratty. And like... Uh, like they're very... Like we're TikTok, like we're we just missed the millennials. So like we're in the Gen Z, in the late Gen Z, I mean no, late millennial, early Gen Z area. We're very iconic actually. I think we don't have we have the best of both worlds is what it is. We're not very like we're not the. I don't necessarily think that. I guess we still are the microwave generation, but I definitely don't think that we're like. We didn't grow up with iPads. You know what I'm saying? We didn't grow up at like three years old with, with an iPad. You know right. how how kids are now. Right. But we also didn't grow up on MySpace. Like, we're just kind of in that quirky middle. <laughs> we're kind of in that, that quirky, fun, fresh middle where we had, we had the beginning of our life where phones weren't a thing. Like, but then we also, the end of our life, like when we got to high school, we were like, oh, here's the phone. So then it was like, we, we kind of just kind of got the best of both worlds. Um, so we're not like, we didn't watch the 90s shows. Very much so, but like, well, we just missed the '90s shows. Like we were, we were in the 2000s, like right back when, like we just had the best of both worlds. We really just did. Like I don't know what to tell you. Um, and our viewpoints are just very iconic. We're not, we're not brat. I feel like the kids are bratty. I feel like they're like, oh, I want everything. I need this. I, I, I couldn't imagine being 11 years old, like filming a TikTok in Walmart. Like that sounds crazy. When I was 11, I was doing actually nothing. 11, I was doing plays. Right. And I said, greedy! That's all I did. These 11 years are, are famous on TikTok, mom. Can you imagine being famous at 11? Would you even want to know what to do, would you? No. So I feel like that's why we're the best of both worlds. And then we don't even want to talk about your generation. But, either way. Um, we appreciate you guys for being our parents. We do. And that's about it. <laughs> um, thank you so we much. We got like three minutes, y'all. Whatever. Thank you so much. Has it been an hour? Is yeah. it about to be an hour? Yeah. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's literally about it. I can't stand him. 
Um, and anyway. everyone hates my viewpoints. But I'm just thinking They hate my viewpoints too. You know what? Anybody on YouTube, people gonna hate their viewpoints. Y'all know in reality, let's be keeping 100 hundred. Y'all have some of these same conversations in y'all household. Y'all just ain't uh, uh, presented to the world. So y'all can say we sound ignorant or we sound crazy. Uh, this is real life. Yeah. And this is our life. And this is some of the stuff that we would talk about in real life, don't we? We have these conversations off of camera. This is how we talk. If y'all was to walk up to us, y'all be like, dang, they talking the same stuff. We would talk the same way, same tone, same manner. It doesn't matter because we have our opinions. And this crazy cow, we all in the family, me, Dalvin, and Darius, we all get along very, very well. However, we can have our own opinions about things, but we still love each other. And that's the, the end of the day. If you can still love each other, genuinely love each other, and have fun, and be a family, and you know, just look out for each other, then you ain't got nothing to worry about. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about this family? Did you trade us with them for the world? Mm -hmm. You love us? Mm -hmm. And you getting close to saying this whole day. Somebody said I'm pitching you. Am I pitching you, Darius? Say <laughs> She's pushing her elbow up against her. And I'm like, <laughs> right. I'm Anyways, y'all, we love y'all. We're gonna get out this this thing, but we kept y'all long enough. Was it 28:41? But yeah. So y'all, don't judge us. Let us know what you think. Just comment, know we love each other. Comment down below your opinion, and yeah. no one needs to be attacking anybody, including us. No. Leave me out of it. What you say? Don't I said no one needs to be attacking anybody in the comments. Oh, don't attack also nobody. Don't attack us either. Yeah, don't attack us Please. either. But they're gonna do us either way. Okay, we we well, know we're gonna get attacked. We're not immune, but I, hope, we, yeah. I hope all the other people are. Leave them alone. Yeah, leave everybody else alone in, in the comments. They have their opinions. Okay, it is what it is. And this is nowhere, uh, nowhere near towards. We not hate. No hate towards a. What's it? Uh, people playing wearing purses, oh. or people not wearing purses or guy liner. Okay. That's what you want to do. That's your lane. I think it's funny. Yeah. What time? What? Okay, love y'all. How much time we got to go? Uh, 29 seconds, 27 seconds. Okay, peace out. Peace out. Peace, love, and head grief. What's up, my v -love? I got a sound. Share and subscribe.